All right, welcome to a quick vid on my training for today. So we have a big big day out for me, 160 something K. So I'll, here's the relive where you can just see where I went. So out of Chiang Mai, onto the highway, went down here, did a bit of motor pacing, averaged like 60 Ks an hour for three minutes, which is great fun. Love a bit of motor pacing. This is mainly pretty cash endurance, but got a bit too excited. So I ended up doing some uh, solid turns on the front. So anyway, so anyway, see it's pretty flat. This is the main mountain, well, climb is like 20 minutes. And then a nice descent where got like fifth place or something on the descent, not too popular. Then just slowly going downhill, bit of rolling roads, but real nice scenery, just like real chilled out uh, traffic. No, there wasn't really much traffic there. Uh, me and my friend were just swapping turns off. Oh, Christian, I'll leave his channel in the description. Uh, but yeah, we were just swapping turns off. Uh, about 250 to 300 watts for me on the front. Uh, and I was dying at the end. But anyway, you can see it was a, it was a big day out for me. Uh, four and a half hours. But here, the roads are so quick. Like, we averaged 36k an hour or something. Like, it's insane. Um, and then you can see we got the highest power there, 720 watts, which is hardly, hardly mental. And then we're just coming back on Canal Road, back into Chiang Mai, uh, which is a super fast road. I think we averaged like 40 or something down there, like 250 watts. There's the airport. And back we go. Uh, so that is the training for the day. Uh, and we'll just go over to my little Strava right now. All right, so as you can see, this is the Strava's. I'll go through what I normally look at. So look at the distance and time. So four and a half hours. I want to do five hours, but end up being a bit too quick ride. But anyway, four and a half is good. Uh, TSS for the day was 284, which is more or less what I want. At the moment, I'm not actually got um, real, any structured workouts. So I'm just going roughly what I want to do. Uh, I sort of know my body pretty well and what I need to do. And I, I like my long endurance rides. So burnt and warm is 4,000 calories, 3,800 calories. So that's just like useful. Uh, afterwards, just make sure you've actually eaten enough. Uh, during the ride, I had like a bit of soft drink, a bit of uh, a bit of coconut nectar, and some dried bananas, and a bit of sugar water. So nothing, didn't really have that much, but I felt good, so it's fine. And had quite a lot of water, maybe three, four liters of water, probably about three liters of water. Uh, probably could have had some more, to be honest. Uh, and, a, and a little electrolyte drink as well. So you can see weighted average power, 221. Normalized was like 236, so that, for me that's a little less than four watts per kilo, uh, which is good. And you can see here, we spent most of my time from 225 watts uh, to 274 watts. We spent, what, about an hour, a little over an hour and a, and a half uh, at that sort of intensity, uh, which for me is zone zone two, zone three. So my threshold is like 317, bang in the middle, and my best ever 20 minute power is actually 334. Uh, you can see I'm as my, my FTP. Uh, and I weigh about 60 kilos. So five and a half watts per kilo for um, 20 minutes is my best at the moment. Uh, and then I normally just go through the segments just see if there's anything interesting. Um, where was it? Oh yeah, here we go. 60.7 60 60 kilometers an hour for three minutes. That's when we're getting some good motor pace uh, behind a truck. And then the rest of it is pretty cash. So yeah, there you go. There's my training for the day. Uh, it was a pr averagely big day out today. Uh, we can go on my little uh, fitness and freshness, uh, which is always interesting. Um, I, don't, I don't have my heart rate on the moment, so... Don't know if that changes it that much. I think it should just use power anyway. Um, if you look at all time, oh no, that's a bit irrelevant. We'll go in last six months. So last six months, you can basically see uh, this is when I was racing in London and basically my fitness here has pretty much stayed the same because I haven't been training that much, but I'm trying to sort of bump it up in the next three or four weeks uh, and then I'll have a rest week after that and hopefully get some good gains on the doy uh, and do a bit of racing. But yeah, you can see it here. Today was a decent training intensity. Um, I tend to use the Strava one just because the Training Peaks one is like, oh my god, it's so confusing. But um, when I'm training properly, I normally do use Training Peaks uh, just to see the normalized and other things because it's sort of better because you can plan all your workouts. But there we go. That is my training for the day. Cheers for watching, and I will see you in the next video.